Deuteronomy chapter 17, verse 15. Thou shalt not in any wise set him king over thee, whom Yahweh thou power shall choose. One from among thy brethren shall thou set king over thee. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thou brother. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War, back at you again with another lesson. And, um, you know, someone asks, you know, is, is voting a sin? Is voting a sin? My answer to that is yes, because you basically, all right, you are setting up, you are involved. Let me say you are involved because today, you know, in this whole presidential uh, voting thing and Jake out there being, um, you know, a, a house nigga and participating in something that they don't have no control of, all right, no say so of, you know, you're playing along in this game and not repenting back until you howl by Shimei Shai, you're going to be destroyed, all right, because when you vote, you are setting up, okay, another nation up over you. And that's why I read that scripture, Deuteronomy 17 and 15. So let's read it again. I'm going to start at 14. When thou art come unto the land which the which Yahweh thou power given thee, and shall possess it, and shall dwell therein, and shall say, I will set a king over me, like as all the nations that are about me. You see how Israel always want to be, you know, like the other nations. And this is why the Lord had to number his people, which is a classification of two thirds, and then you have the one third, all right, with the hundred and forty four thousand as well, apart all in one of the one third. Okay, which is consists of uh, first the men, all right, you know, then you have women, children, you know, and those of that household, the family, okay. So it says, verse 15, thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom Yahweh thou power have chose. One from among thou brethren shall thou set king over thee, thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thou brother. You see that? So being that we don't have power and we are in our captivity, which the Heavenly Father put us in, why are you participating and basically selling your soul, man? You know, you are, I don't know how to vote and thing vote because I never voted, all right? And, you know, when you go and put your name in and put, put, the, put, put your, uh, I don't know if you put your social in or whatever, how it works, but when you go and put you know, to the poll and you cast your vote, you're basically signing your own soul, man. You know, it's like Satan always need that contract, okay? He needs that contract with your signature on there, you know? So you're, you're basically pushing forward for a new world order. And Jake know that there is no good coming out of both parties. So why vote for the less of evil? That's nonsense, all right? Shouldn't vote at all. What you should be doing is protest in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, now, let me just read this real quick and I'll come back to the precepts that I had lined up. 2 Corinthians 7 and 14, because this is what uh, the Lord's people should be doing, and which I should say the elect is doing. This is 2 Chronicles 7 and 14. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves, now who is the Lord's people? The Israelites, okay? It says, shall humble themselves and pray, uh-oh, key word, humble themselves and pray and seek my face. What is the Lord's face? The scriptures. It says, and turn from their wicked ways. What are your wicked ways? All right, the traditions of men, the philosophies, all right, your, the, the religions, everything that held you back from worshiping the true and living power, which is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, uh, you know, the promoting of adultery and witchcraft you know everything that you see that's going on today it says and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will i hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land so the lord will heal our land which is israel which he will have to destroy and which he's going to okay this is why uh everything is you know at, at its points of chaos because this these things has to happen all right, this is prophecy. So yeah, this place is gonna be on fire. All right, 
which is going to be civil unrest, lawlessness, okay, sedition among men, the military, Esau's military, or these foreign soldiers' military will be forcing the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. They're going to be forcing vaccinations. So everything is going to get uglier, okay? And that's a, a reason for purification because the Most High is going to ultimately destroy Babylon by the ways of thermonuclear fire, all right? So let's go back. Let me get uh, Jeremiah. Let's get uh, Jeremiah 17 and 5. It says, uh, nope. It's a lock, yeah. Oh, yeah, 17 and 5. Okay, it says, Jeremiah 17 and verse 5. Let me start at 4. It says, And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage, which I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thou enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. Now that ever means a time. Okay? So that's not going to be, um, you know, for eternity. Our kingdom is going to be for eternity. When the Shai come, come back with healing in his wings. Okay? Our dominion on the earth. Being the judges. Okay? Under Shai. So it says, and thou and thyself shall discontinue, meaning that we started, okay, being the Lord's people, and then we discontinued from being the Lord's people, because the Lord divorced us, he divorced his people for a time. He says, discontinue from thy heritage, which I gave thee. It says, and I will cause thee to serve thou enemies in a land which thou knowest not. What's the land that, you know, was, wasn't, that was foreign, back to the, uh, you know, more so foreign, to the world and to the eastern part of the world in those times was this place that you call today America. All right. So it says, and, and this is where we at, the, the heart, well, let's say the boat of uh, the Israelites are here in Babylon, even though we're also scattered through the four corners. It says, will cause thee to serve thy enemies in a land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. Now it says, verse 5, here's the point. Thus saith Yahweh, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departeth from Yahweh. So guess what? You invite a curse onto yourself when you go and vote for this, um, this uh, presidential uh, uh, game that they're running. This, this game that they're running upon the people here in America. Okay? You, you're inviting a curse onto yourself because you're not seeking Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You're seeking... The, the trust of men. It says, Thus saith Yahweh, curse be the man that trusteth in man. All right? You're trusting in the traditions of men. You're trusting in the philosophies and the ways of this world. You're trusting in, in Esau's religions. Okay? Christianity. It says, And make flesh his arm. Okay? And whose heart departed from Yahweh. So you make, uh, you make this, this, uh, this Edomite's way, your strength, which Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is clearly uh, breaking the strength of these Edomites. And one way he's doing that by is exposing them with the spirit of his mouth. By these scriptures and the prophecies being foretold through the prophets, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, through the prophets, his mouthpiece, okay, all of the plans of the elites, everything that's going on, they sloppy eat. The Most High is exposing them with the spirit of his mouth. And the scriptures say, then he's going to destroy them with the brightness of his coming. All right, so let me leave from here. And let's uh, grab this scripture, Psalms 118 and 8. It is better to trust in Yahweh than to put confidence in man. So it's better to trust in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai than to put confidence in man. All right, you're putting your trust and confidence in his policy, which is rigged for you to lose every fucking time all right you know you're putting your confidence in a lesser evil you know it says it is better to trust in Yahweh than to put confidence in man and really it's really no lesser evil it's one evil and it's Esau's wickedness because he is the son of the wicked because both parties play play this game which goes back to what the uh, plebeians and patricians in the time of the Greeks, all right, where you have one side versus the other side, and they will play these roles, okay, they will play the opposition of each other 
so that they can will the people into their into their agenda. All right. And that's all they're doing is today. OK, they're doing this the same thing, man. Uh, it is better to trust in Yahweh than to put confidence in man. All right. Now. Let's get this Psalms. Three and five. It says, trust in Yahweh with all thou heart and lean not un and lean not unto thy own understanding. So you can't make up shit. All right. The, these scriptures, the Lord's word is our guide. Matter of fact, that's second edge of 16. I'll get that. You know, these scriptures is our guide. OK, it is our manuscript. You know, if you want to make a, a um, if you want to make a dish, let's say you cooking and you cooking something you never cooked before. You need the ingredients, right? You need the instructions, right? You take the instructions, you take the ingredients, you go to the supermarket, you take you buy what you need to get for the ingredients. You come home, set it all on the counter. All right, you, you take the, the, the instructions out and you follow line by line, okay? Until you finish the dish. So these scriptures, all right, is our instructions, our manuscript. So leaning upon your own understanding is gonna lead you to destruction. It says, trust in Yahweh with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct our paths. Because if you follow the Lord, well, if you uh, sincerely, okay, believe in the Lord, then the Lord is going to be, okay, he's going to be near you. He's going to open up the doors for you, all right? If you of his elect, it says, in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear Yahweh and depart from evil. So it's evil to go out and vote. It's evil to be a part of these mili these uh, government agencies like antifa black lives matters and so on and so on that's evil they're setting the a hey, man this uh mind control is setting up it's set up these uh government government funded groups man all right and they out there to play a role all right to make sure that it be chaos which is all prophecy so all praises to yahweh bashim yahweh shai all right these things have to happen uh i'm gonna grab one more scripture and I'll call it a day. This is um, Second Edges chapter sixteen. I know it's two of the last verses. Right here we go, uh, seventy-five. Okay, no, let's read into it. Uh, right. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, verse sixty-eight. It says, "For behold." The burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. All right. This great multitude of, of this great wrath is kindled over you. And, and Jake, two thirds of Jake's don't see it. They're participating in a, in a game which they which they're blind. You know, what the scripture say? My sheep are headed to the uh, 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 headed to the slaughter. You know, it says, for behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. And they that shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. So everyone that's participating in, you know, make a lead, you know, with, with the agenda of Esau's agenda, supporting their new world order for everybody to be microchipped, transhumans. Okay, so us to live in a world with nothing but digital everything is digital digital currency and so on you're going to be had in derision all right you're in a trick it's a trick on you and it says and trotten underfoot meaning you're going to be destroyed so you're not going to save your life that reminds me of yahweh shai when he said he that uh, uh saves his life shall lose it you know you're looking to save your life in some carnal way you're going to lose your life but yahweh shai said he that findeth his life for my sake shall find it. Roughly paraphrasing. All right. He that findeth his life for Yahweh Shai's sake shall find life. Roughly paraphrasing. So there you go. It says, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and a reproach and trodden underfoot. 
for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. So we know we, we are not ignorant to the knowledge of knowing what's going down. The Lord said, when it, before things spring up, I tell you of them. So we know that these devils, all right, and these uh, contractors that they set up, you know, are, are watching brothers and looking to uh, jam us up, cast us into prison, you know, and they seems like the way that they might use it, they might use this opportunity, uh, this crisis, but they say never let a crisis go to waste. They may use it in, according to the vaccination. Maybe that's what uh, President Trump was saying about when he made the words of, um, when he said the words of uh, the military is gonna come with power, you know? And basically he didn't wanna use force, but he used the word power. So when they surround your city and your blocks and if they go house to house, all right, they're gonna come with that force, that power, all right? That the, 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 uh, the scare you tactic, you know? And also to put hands on you, okay? Cast you into prisons, so it says, if you don't take the vaccination, it says, uh, for there shall be in every place in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. So, yeah, this is talking about the, the ones who believe in the Lord, but it says sparing none. I mean, it doesn't matter who it is. You're going to be destroyed. And this is why we cry, uh, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, to deliver us in these days. You know, you got, uh, I don't want to go too long, but I guess it's the spirit. You know, you got men uh, talking about Jacob's trouble is gay. You know, well, what about Edris? When Edris says, woe is me, woe is me, who shall save me in that day? Edris even got shook and he saw it through a vision. Okay. So that just shows you what men are not in the right spirit and what men are. Now, like we read the scripture uh, a few minutes ago, uh, the Lord would direct your path. All right, if you really f uh, fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and being sincere. So it says, um, verse 72, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. So there you go. You want to stockpile on food and water. You think you're going to be good. They're going to cast you out of your houses. You ain't, that, that food that you stored up is going to be for the next uh, uh, man. Okay. It says, verse 73, then shall they be known who are my chosen and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. So everyone gonna know, all right, who the Lord's chosen. It's not gonna be of the hopeful elect, it's gonna be of the elect. We say we the hopeful elect, all right, because we don't know if we the elect, and that's humble way of saying it, you know. We believe that we are, but it's gonna come down to it, to where we, when we try, all right, that we be made white, all right, and that we be purified through the Lord, and to be worthy uh, of deliverance. And that's when we'll be called, what, the chosen. Lord's willing, you know, I hope to be a part of that number, man. It says, then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Hear, O ye my beloved, saith the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. So see, all this stuff is happening, but the Lord said, look, I will deliver you from the same. All right. It says, be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh is your guide. Now, that was the... The uh, point I wanted to grab uh, pertaining to this lesson and this topic is voting is a sin. Yeah, it is. All right. These scriptures is our guide. It says, be ye not afraid, neither doubt. For Yahweh is your guide and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith Yahweh. Let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. So you don't beat yourself up, you know, if you brother or woman, you know sincere you know you don't beat yourself up for the things you've done in the past and going off you keep striving all right you know and let not your sins be great don't be an adulterer don't be a uh, 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 extortioner you know don't be uh, effeminate you know I'm just thinking of some of the greater sins that you can do to jeopardize your salvation you know, that's your job. You know, don't let your sins be great. All right. Don't lift up your iniquities. So it says, uh, let not your iniquities lift up themselves. It says, woe be unto them that are bound with their sins. See, and covered with their iniquities, like as a field is covered over the bushes and the path thereof covered with thorns that no man may travel through. And that's that's the uh, 
weighs of two thirds. You know, they don't have uh, they don't have any righteousness in them. They don't have no works. So where it says, woe be unto them that are bound with their sins and covered with their iniquities, like as a field is covered over with bushes, meaning you're trying to walk through this path, but you can't get through because it's full of bushes. Because those bushes represents your sins, you know, thorns and picks. You try to walk through it, you're going to get poked all up. You're going to bleed to death. You're going to cut yourself. All right. You're going to keep cutting yourself. It says in the path thereof covered with thorns that no man may travel through. Let it uh, it is left undressed and it is cast into the fire to be consumed therewith. All right. So uh, hopefully I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to your help. I should shy by Hashem Makakodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. Shalom.